All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to do a problem set about the order of operations. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this example, we are asked to evaluate the expression when x is equal to 3. So let's go ahead and substitute. So you have 3 plus 3 squared. Remember our order of operations, PEMDAS. So we have addition here and an exponent here. So we're going to evaluate the power first before we do the addition. So 3 plus 3 squared is just two factors of 3. So that's 3 times 3. That's 9. And now I can go ahead and do the addition. 3 plus 9 is 12. Moving on to our next example, we're asked to evaluate the expression when x is equal to 3. So you have 27 divided by x, and this quantity is subtracted from 2 plus 16. So I'm going to uh, substitute 3 for x. So I'll write 27 divided by 3 minus 2 plus 16. I have a division here, subtraction and addition. And according to my order of operations, I will do the division first before I can tackle the addition or subtraction. So I'm going to divide 27 divided by 3, and that will be 9. And I'll bring everything else down. Now, because we have a um, subtraction and addition, we're going to um, move from left to right because addition and subtraction have the same priority. So I'm going to do the subtraction first. So 9 minus 2 will give me 7. Drop down the 16. And 7 plus 16 will give me 23. OK, I hope that made sense. Let's go ahead and move to the next example. So again, we're asked to evaluate the expressions using the order of operations. So I have a power here, and I have addition here. And according to my order of operations, I am going to evaluate the power first, OK? So 6 squared is just 6 times 6. Bring down the 4, so 6 times 6 is 36 plus 4 will give us 40. OK, moving on to the next example, we have subtraction, addition, and a quantity within parentheses. So we're going to do this first because we have our parentheses first in our order of operations. And then we'll go ahead and do the addition and subtraction. So I'll bring everything down. And I'll add this. 2 plus 5 is 7. Again, I have subtraction and addition, so I will take care of this moving from the left to the right. So I'm going to start right here. So 10 minus 3 is going to give me 7. And I bring down the other 7 plus 7. And I can add 7 plus 7 is 14. OK? Let's go ahead and move on to the next example. And now we're asked to evaluate the expression of this beautiful expression. I really like fraction bars. So we have multiplication in the, in the numerator. We have a whole lot going on in the denominator. So let's go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to first write down my order of operations off to the side, just so that I always know. And I encourage you to do that as well. So I have multiplication in the numerator. I have addition in the denominator. I have this power. And I have subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the numerator, just because that's what I find to be a little bit more simple. So 7 times 2 is going to give me 14. I'm going to write everything else in the bottom. So let's see if we can draw a straight line with this. And we can. Oh, technology is awesome. OK, so I'm going to bring everything else down. So 7 plus 2 cubed minus 1. Now I have addition, a power, and 
um, subtraction, but I also have these parentheses that I failed to mention. So according to our order of operations, we're going to take care of whatever's in the parentheses first for the denominator. So I'm going to add seven and now whatever's in here. So two cubed minus one, two cubed is three factors of two. So that's two, two times two times two times two. So two multiplied three times, so that will be eight. And now I subtract, so I can go ahead and write down my next step. So I have still eight minus one within the parentheses, so I'm going to take care of that. Eight minus one gives me seven. And now I'm gonna come work up here, actually. I'm gonna use a straight line, we just, fun okay so I'm going to bring everything else up here so I'm actually going to add so 7 plus 7 will give me 7 plus 7 will give me 14 so I'm going to write up here I'm going to just show an arrow that I'm going to work up here so 14 divided by 14 and I divide so this will give me 1 so exciting, so fun. Okay, hopefully all this is making sense and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and we'll be sure to get to them. But for now, we're going to move on to our next example. Just another one of these expressions. So we're asked to evaluate again. I'm gonna start in the numerator. So, but first I'm gonna write my order of operations off to the side and within the numerator, I have this parentheses, I have this power, the subtraction, and in the numerator, I mean, in the denominator, I have multiplication. So I'm gonna start in the numerator. So three squared is just three times three, so that will be nine. I'm actually going to just write nine this time. So it'll be nine minus three divided by two times nine. So now I can do my multiplication or maybe do this first. So I'm gonna do the multiplication first. So I'll have nine minus three at the top and this will be 18. Now nine minus three is gonna give me six and all of that will be divided by 18. I'm gonna go work up here. So six divided by 18 is going to give me one over three. So just let's just show that. So I'm gonna divide the top and bottom with six. So divide by six, divide by six, and my answer should be one. And 18 divided by six will give me three. So one third is my answer when I evaluate this expression using the order of operations, okay? So hopefully all of this is making sense. And now this is a try it on your own question. I have provided you two expressions, one on the left and one on the right, and they have maybe or not so maybe, followed the order of operations and I want you to remember to keep this in mind and I want you to look at these two expressions and I want to know which one you think is correct okay I want to know. I'm just curious. Um, but the answer will be in the description box if you want to check it. And if you need an explanation for it, I will be more than happy to provide it. But I would really like for you to just sit on this and think about it and take in everything that we've learned. Okay. And I think that is going to conclude our presentation for today, our practice set for the order of operations. Next time we will discuss equations and checking possible solutions. So I hope that you can join me for that. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you can join me next time. But for now, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.